Welcome back, my beautiful people. Your creepy Uncle Bannock13 here with another Challenge Rift video guide. This one is super easy. I'm going to show you how to do this in half the time of the original runner. I've been doing Challenge Rift videos for quite some time now and people are used to me doing it every week. So even though it's easy and some of you may not need guides, you can just stop by, say hello, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. So it's a Crusader this week. Let's have a look at the Soul Mirror. We are using the Legacy of Nightmares set. So it's a ring set. And if you guys don't know how this works, it's actually while this is your only set item bonus, which it is for this character, every ancient you have equipped increases your damage dealt by 100% and reduces your damage taken by 4%. That's for every ancient item equipped so obviously this player is going to have as many ancients equipped as possible and some items here that he's using just for the legendary stat bonuses which is quite understandable and this does a hell of a lot of damage it actually works very well it's not squishy but having said that it is only a challenge rift 41 so it's quite easy let's have a look at the canoise cube here friday's wrath akila kuras eternal union the skills smite Shield Glare, Phalanx, Condemn, Laws of Valor, and Heaven's Fury. The passives, Righteousness, Heavenly Strength, Lord Commander, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, and Holy Cause. So the mechanics and the strategy is quite simple. It can seem overwhelming with so many skills here that you've got to constantly maintain. However, once you get into the rhythm of it, it's actually really, really easy. So what you want to do when you just get in there and you're killing normal packs is you want to make sure that your Laws of Valor is up. So activate that straight away. And then you want to cast your Phalanx. So that will cast Bodyguards, summon Bodyguards, and they do a hell of a lot, hell of, a lot of damage taking advantage of the Laws of Valor buff. And they'll pretty much kill all regular mobs around around you. You can also just do smite. Uh, smite will regenerate your wrath and also does a hell of a lot of damage as well. And if you come across huge dense packs and elite packs then you want to use your condemn here so you can use condemn a couple times however condemn is very costly of wrath it uses a hell of a lot of wrath and you can very easily run out but never fear if you do you can always use shield glare now it's very important to use shield glare when there's a lot of enemies around you so make sure you affect as many enemies as possible with shield glare if you do that, you'll easily regenerate all of your wrath and then you can just go on rinsing and repeating. And if you're running low on wrath and if you're not coming across an elite anytime soon or dense packs, definitely use Heaven's Fury when it's up. Heaven's Fury is free. It doesn't cost any wrath. You can cast it and it just it summons these rays of light and if enemies come across it into it, they'll pretty much instantly die. It's very handy, but it's not even necessary. Like you can pretty much just be using Laws of Vela, casting your Phalanx, which won't cost too much wrath at all, and then just using Smite to kill straggling enemies and then boom, condemn whenever you come across dense packs and elites and then you can just use shield glare which the cooldown is only 12 seconds anyway and you can regenerate all of your wrath that way as well so if it's a little bit overwhelming for you all and there's too many skills you can pretty much ignore heaven's fury if you want because you're going to be moving through this quite quickly and if you time your shield glare right then even if you are condemning a lot it's not going to be an issue you can easily regenerate all of your wrath every 12 seconds so enough babble I babble a lot, but I do like to explain the mechanics and the strategies before we go in. Now you can watch me actually do everything that I said, and then it's your turn. Let me know what time you got down below, and let me know what you think of this week's challenge rift. Happy monster slaying, my lovely people. Let's go in. All right, let's do it. We're in. We're going to smash this time brutally in half. Actually, more than half. So there you go. As soon as I come across any enemies that are stopping me from progressing forward, I'll usually condemn their butts. And then keep on moving. Get your globes and keep going. So I haven't actually investigated or researched the best route to go in this challenge route. It's just so easy and I'm not trying to get like some sort of world 
you know, awesome ranking or anything like that. I just want to get my materials and keep on going. I've got a lot of stuff that I want to do. I'm playing Far Cry 5. I still want to finish Assassin's Creed Origins. I've got movies to watch. And I also want to do a trailer reaction video to The Meg, the new movie with Jason Statham, which is like a prehistoric Jaws shark type creature that they come across. So that's going to be interesting. And I want to check out the trailer and I haven't, done a tra I haven't done a trailer reaction video for quite some time and uploaded it. So I'm actually quite excited to do a trailer reaction video for you all today. Well, hopefully if I get time, still got to get to work. So as you can see, I'm just going on through using my phalanx, using shield glare when I'm out of wrath and then using condemn. And I'm actually using condemn pretty generously. And there are, there is a lot of dense packs and you come across all these pretty frequently, so you're going to be using Condemn a lot. Just make sure that you've got Shield Glare up, and it's not going to be an issue. When I remember, I use Heaven's Fury. But mostly, just keep your Laws of Valor up, cast your Phalanx, and that'll pretty much kill everything. When you come across Elites and Density, just do a couple Condemns, and that'll pretty much instantly kill enemies just like that. Or one or two shot Elites. <clears throat> So, it's just so simple this week. The challenge rifts were quite challenging in recent weeks, which I actually enjoy. I enjoy challenges, and I, I like to do videos on challenge rifts that are actually quite difficult. When it's easy, you just have to watch my ugly face, like, you know, talking a bit of rubbish for a little while. Which I know some of you enjoy anyway, so it's a win-win for all of us. And I enjoy doing videos, so... Uh, these little straggling enemies I'll just ignore, try and just keep pushing forward. As you can see, my wrath management isn't really an issue at all. And we're nearly done. Look at the timer there, it's ridiculous. We're smashing it. I don't know what this player was act actually doing when he was doing this challenge rift. Oh no, not the wall. Get out of there. He could actually have state charge in this build, it would be so much better. But anyway. Yeah, I don't know what this player was doing. He must have gone AFK to make a coffee or, or, or something or, or grab a beer because, yeah, the time is just, just so slow. What the hell was he doing? And I'm not even trying to move like through quickly, so there you go. The Rift Garden will pop soon and he's no issue whatsoever. Just make sure you have full wrath. If possible. If not, it still won't be an issue. But you just basically condemn him a few times and he's he's done. So I've got Shield Glare up now anyway. Just a couple condemns. See you later. Done! This week's Challenge Rift. Done ski! So, 342. Absolutely smashed the original runner's time, but as I said, I don't know what the original runner was actually doing when he was doing this greater rift. I may have taken a nap by the looks of it, I don't know. So this week's was super, super easy. Thank you all for watching anyway, for those of you that did. So if you enjoy watching me and don't just come here when a challenge rift is super, super hard and, and use and abuse your creepy uncle bunny 13, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you still love me and give me a shout out down below. I like getting comments and I respond to every comment as long as you're not abusing me or being rude. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to see this ugly face a lot more often. I'll be working on heaps more content for the Demon Hunt and Monk classes at the moment. I want to really refresh all of my old guides that I've done for the Demon Hunt and the Monk. They're quite aged now, so I'm going to redo all of my guides for Demon Hunter and Monk classes first, and then I'll probably start working through the other classes as well. But Demon Hunter and Monk I'm most excited for. Then maybe we'll go into the Witch Doctor a little bit as well. We're also going to be watching trailers and doing movie reviews, so there's just so much awesome stuff coming up. You'd be stupid not to subscribe, but if you don't, that is fine. I still love you. Just come back and visit your creepy Uncle Bannock 13.